Welcome to Whiskey Asia. I'm David. I'm Terry. Today we're trying for you the Santori Royal Blended Whiskey. Terry, how did we get this whiskey? <laughs> it was. <laughs> I should uh, introduce. No, I'll let you introduce. You should introduce. No, you should introduce. No, you I'll introduce. introduce. You introduce. So, fine, I'll introduce. Okay. No, I was at the Okinawa airport, and then as is customary for us, or to when I go to the um, duty free shop, I FaceTime David so he can tell me. He's like, show me, show me, show me what's at the at the shop. So I would I'm FaceTime him. I'm shopping virtually. Him. That's really yes, cool. Online shopping. Online shopping. Personal virtual. Life, yeah. Yes. So I'd be like, oh, what about this one? What about this? I was like, wait, 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 hold, hold. And then we, we found this one because there, there weren't that many choices at the Okinawa yeah. um, um, airport. And then when you saw this one, he's like, wait, wait, let me look it up. And he's like, how much is it? I'm like, okay, that's a good buy. Yes, could yeah, you please? How much did yeah. this cost? It actually cost around, I think it was 30, 3,300 um, Japanese yen. So yeah. that's about 30 US. 30 US dollars. Yeah, yes, roughly, roughly, right? roughly okay. yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so this uh, blended whiskey was created in 1960 uh, to commemorate the uh, 60th anniversary of Santori Distillery. You know, uh, Santori was probably the first whiskey distillery in Asia. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. So it's, okay. it's the first. So wow. this was like very special, and a lot of people said this was the last masterpiece um, created by the founder. And while we're looking for information, we, we noticed that, uh, you know, you can, f I mean, this information, uh, this whiskey has been shipping to the States since, you know, I think the 1970s and 80s. I mean, remember we saw there's ads uh, even featuring uh, Peter Lawford. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you, know, um, you know, drinking, you know, Santori Royal. And we tried it for the first time the other day and yeah. was quite impressed with it. Yes. Yeah, so let's do it again today. Yeah, yeah. And I, I love the presentation. It look, it's a beautiful you know, bottle. Yeah, the way it looks, and yeah. it's got a really nice 1960s yes, look it actually, and 1970s it look. And, the cork. and and if you can tell, if you've been to Japan, maybe you can tell the cork is ma also made of glass. You know, um, and the you know the top part is in the shape of a shinto, so it's a really really Japanese inspired design. And it, it feels substantial when you hold it. Yeah. I mean, for a thirty dollar US you know whiskey, that's that's really. It's got weight to yeah, it. Yeah, it's got weight to it. Yeah. And it feels like it, it costs a lot more. Yeah. And and you know, based on a lot of the online testing, a lot of people give very good. A know. lot of people said that they were very surprised. Yeah. 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 I was surprised. And someone even said that it's one of their favorite blended Japanese whiskeys of all time. Yeah. I actually yeah, read I that somewhere. I was really surprised. That. Yeah. Was yeah. Good. So yeah. what do you got on the nose? I smell more of like a woodsy smell today. Yeah. Let's ma of the maple that I smelled the other day. Yeah, that's it's really weird. interesting. Yeah. I, f I smell like incense, you know, like yeah, woody yeah. incense. Yeah, you know? I do feel smell the incense too. It's so fruity. Mm. Vanilla, mm. caramel. Definitely. Coffee. Mm. A lot of those really, really. And a bit nutty. You taste the nuttiness? I think at the near the end. It just feels really pleasant. <laughs> yeah, and I think sophisticated. Yeah, like because you could you could taste the layers, yeah, right? I think yeah. Really nice blending yeah. happening here. Mm. You know, in the advertisement for Santori, it says that, you know, they, when they created this whiskey, mm. imagine like sakura yeah. flowers mm. in the snow. Oh, mm. <laughs> let me think about <laughs> that and then drink again. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel it? It's really elegant. It's just a really elegant, nice, well blended whiskey. You like, really could be sitting by it, like if you had a fire, you sit by the fire, you know, you yeah. drink this with a book in your hand, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. 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 It would be, you know. <laughs> you know, in the last, you know, three, four, five years, Japanese whiskeys have really been on a high. Mm -hmm. It's so hard to get, like, you know, like whiskey, and there's such a short demand that yeah. they've stopped releasing age statement single malts. So I think when you can find like a blended, nice blended whiskey from Japan, because I mean, they produce their own molds and grain whiskeys for their own blended whiskeys. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and, and, and the single molds are like really expensive. They're yeah. like, you know, hundreds of dollars, you know, per bottle. Mm -hmm. So I think when you can find a nice bottle of blended whiskey like this, mm -hmm. snatch it. Yeah. You know, I wish you had brought and more than one bottle. <laughs> now it's funny, like earlier I, you were saying that, oh, you know, like um, inexpensive and Japanese whiskey was an oxymoron. And I was like, well, you have one right here. <laughs> <laughs> very, very good. Terry Gambe. Gambe. Cheers. Kanpai.
we will be bringing you more whiskeys from Asia in Asia, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell. Come by.